Hello. Today I am doing a second look with the ColourPop 1111 collection. I am also going to do the swatches of the palette in this video. So let's get started with the swatches and then we can create a look using some of the collection as well. All right, let's get started. So this is what the 1111 ColourPop palette color story looks like. I'm going to start with Total Angel. Next is Manifest It. Don't think you can even see it. After that is Good Thoughts. Now is balanced. Now I'm going into protection. Major change. Reflect. Lucky babe. They look like so far. After that is perfect harmony. Right path. Empowered. And divine. So those are what the swatches look like. This one has a, is a matte with sparkle. This one, to me, has a lot of finer glitter shimmer pieces. This one has some chunkier shimmers. This one here felt more gritty when I was swatching. This one slightly did. Uh, this one is very emollient, almost feels like a glitter gel type of thing. The rest were pretty good and nice. I swatched decently. So that is the swatches. Okay, so those were the swatches. I am going to start priming my eyes and we will create a look with everything else from the collection. 
Okay, so I primed my eyes with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Light Ivory. And I set that with the Makeup Revolution Translucent Baking Powder Setting Powder. So we're ready to start with eyeshadow. I'm going to start with Lucky Bait. I'm going in with a ColourPop E25. Next, I'm going into Empowered using a ColourPop E26. Okay, I'm just gonna go back into Lucky Babe to blend the twinkle. So I'm just gonna take shade one from the NYX Love Contours All Eye and Face Sculpting Palette. Uh, F33. I know this is for face, but it'll blend the edges just fine, I should be sure. It's a little large, isn't it? Okay, so I changed the brush to a uh, Color Up E23. blend now I'm just gonna take shade one from this palette and lucky babe just to blend between the two and make sure there's no harsh lines or as much as I can get rid of them I'm just gonna take the e26 and I'm gonna mix Lucky Babe and Empowered. Do one further. Just with Lucky Babe again. I'm going to go into major change. Last we I'm going to take Total Angel. I'm going to put it on into the inner corner. It might be too stark between the two. We'll see. Hmm. Not sure if I like that. I'm just going to bring more of the major change back and then into the all right I'm gonna keep working with that and see if I like it so I'm just going to finish the other eye and I will be back 
So I have finished both eyes and I'm just gonna do some of my face makeup, brows, and then I'll come back and we will finish up. Okay, so I finished my face makeup and I did my brows. I'm gonna quickly run through what I used. I used the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Foundation in Shell Ivory. For concealer, I used the Photo Focus Concealer in Light Ivory, also from Wet n Wild. I didn't use a primer with this just to see how it behaves on its own. I said everything with the Makeup Revolution Translucent Baking Powder Setting Powder. For my brows, I used the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil in Neutral Brown. And I used the Makeup Revolution Clear Brow Gel. So I'm gonna start by finishing with the eyes and I'm gonna use the ColourPop Shadow Sticks in So Celestial, which is metallic. That is what that looks like. I'm not sure if it's gonna look good with this, but that's what I'm gonna do. Like so. I'm gonna do the same on this eye. Now I just need to figure out what eyeliner I want to use. Probably this. So to go in the waterline, I'm gonna use the Essence Stay and Play Gel Eyeliner in 08 Stardust Love. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay, so I applied the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Bigger Batter Volumizing Mascara in Intense Pitch Black. I also applied my ColourPop Super Shock Bronzer in Get Sandy. That finishes the eyes and I'm gonna apply the ColourPop Pressed Powder Blush in Claim It for today's blush, also from the 1111 collection and that is what that looks like 
I'm gonna go in gently just because last time I didn't and it was a lot of blush. Okay, I like this shade on me a little bit more. Um, I think this one is, I think this one is not as pigmented as the first color, which I think works well for my coloring. Um, next. I'm going to apply the ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in Flexitarian, which is a pearlized finish. I think this will work well with the overall look today. I'm just going to go in with the F33. I'm just going to take a touch of that, just put it right here on the brow bone, just highlight that, just slightly. Okay, I'm going to try to figure out what lip I'm going to use, and I'll go back, come back. I'll go back to that one. Okay. I'm going to try to figure out what lip stick I'm going to use from the collection, and I'll be back. Okay, so for the lip today, I chose the ColourPop Luxe lipstick from the collection in Aligned, which looks like this. Gonna smudge the line. Just smudging that slightly.
I think that is a really 90s uh, kind of color and kind of with the smoky eye and everything going on it definitely reminds me of that kind of time period of makeup um, I probably wouldn't have worn <laughs> this eye makeup then but I think it works well together so I'm just going to kind of tell you my thoughts and wrap this up. So I obviously like the lips, the Luxe lipstick color and I like the colors. They are somewhat similar, I will say. Um, I don't mind them because they kind of are filling a gap in where I used to have those colors and I don't have those uh, colors anymore like that era where I was wearing that I don't have that makeup anymore yeah uh, it would be very very old and not usable ColourPop shadow sticks I love this color it's like a gray green and I think it's stunning. I think it looks really beautiful under the eye there and really just adds that touch of grunginess that I love. Um, the blush I think is really pretty. Um, it's not in your face. Uh, I would say this is a definitely a nude blush. Tone, but I think it's beautiful. The eyeshadow today, I think I liked the look a little bit more. Um, I think it's a little the shadows that I used more. I didn't really have any problems. Uh, the mattes did blend uh everything came together it did take me some time i did reach into my next love contours all palette uh just for one shade for today um yesterday i did reach into this for two um i don't mind doing that i think because the many different undertones I think in the palette itself kind of needs a few more shades. I don't mind pulling a, a palette to work with something. Um, ideally, I wish it kind of did have those shades, but I do understand the, the feel. And I almost feel like this is almost like a, a 90s, but make it fresher, um, make it a little newer. So I kind of think, at least that's how I feel, especially with the lip colors and that kind of thing. Um, maybe the lip colors, if you didn't have those, it would. I don't know if it would really have that feel. Although with the grungy look I came up with, you could make that argument. Um, so yeah, this is the finished look. That I came up with. I think it's very pretty. I think it's grungy. It's got that 90s feel that I think is fun. Um, so yeah, I think I had a fun time playing with this today. I hope you enjoyed watching. I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, bye!